There are reports coming out that Anne Heche, according to Fox, Anne Heche being investigated for DUI. What's next? And if you go to their site, you can actually see her car speeding, exploding, all of that. There's video of it all, but I'm not going to post that um, here. Police are investigating Ann Hirsch for driving under the influence after she crashed her car into a home in Los Angeles on Friday. We know that the car ignited into a very large fire. Legal experts previously told Fox News Digital that Hirsch could be charged with reckless driving, hit and run, and potentially DUI. They obtained a warrant, as I reported earlier, to get a blood sample from her on August 5th. The results of the blood test um, are still pending and the investigation is ongoing. If Hesh is found to have been intoxicated during the crash, she will be charged with a DUI hit and run. LAPD told Fox News Digital. Authorities will then present the case to the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because it does go on a little bit longer. Um, I think that they should wait with the charges if they um, find alcohol or substances in her blood until, wait with the charges until this woman can be stable, like stabilized. Um, she's fighting for her life right now and everybody's making this a big sensationalized story. The results are not in whether she had alcohol in her system or not, whether she had other substances, whether she was impaired. Um, so let's just wait with the charges if there are charges that's just my opinion and the way that I feel about it. Let's see if she lives first. Are you going to charge her? And if she passes away, what's going to happen to the char those charges? Huh? It's, it's pretty embarrassing to think that they're going after this woman as she's fighting for her life. She's not a serial killer. She didn't go out and murder someone. She could have, but she didn't. It wasn't intentional, I don't think. And... If she was impaired, yeah, it's her fault. But let's wait and see if she's going to live first before she gets charges, okay? Let's see. Let's just give them some time to breathe. She has family and friends who love her. And thank God that no one else was harmed. However, let's let her family and friends have a little peace and quiet while they see if she's going to make it. All right, you guys, I'll keep up with this story. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. I'll see you there. I'm Jessica Blackbird. Please like, share, and subscribe.